approaching trying to figure out what to paint, the idea came at first to do letters for it, and somebody said, no, don't do letters. And I was like, I think I'm gonna actually do letters then. You know, if I, I think it's the basis where a lot of us artists who paint walls came from was painting letters on the streets. And if the show has anything to do with artists who came from that world, and that's what they're kind of showcase, I wanna have that element in my piece. So I started off the Crayola piece that's getting buried, getting shoved down under the floor. If you look at the, the wall, the letters are kind of, just half the letters coming up through the ground. And then the moon character has a shovel and he's basically those people who don't want to see letters and don't think that it's relevant anymore, which I still think they are. I think uh, it's an important part of this whole street art movement is the graffiti that came first, which I don't want to see go away. So that's why I continue to do letters. I'm not going to let it die. At least not on my watch, it's not going to die. I felt like I learned a lot. It felt like it was almost like a, a camp where you get to learn a different technique here and there and and discover, oh wow, it's, I can use that technique to do what I do and make what I do better. Hello? Kind of felt like science camp or something. And I was just kind of concentrating on like the idea of the wall being temporary. I was like, ah, oh, you know, do a uh, deteriorating butterfly. It's like a visual representation of uh, temporary beauty. Watching Brendan Monroe paint was awesome. I, I like that guy's work a lot. And it just paintbrush and black paint, he bends your mind with that whole wall he did. And it was exciting to see it come together.
Normally when I'm painting walls, I'm painting out in a public space and I have to kind of adjust my imagery to fit a public setting. But being able to paint inside of a museum, I had a little more freedom. My studio paintings are a little more uh, sexual, sensual. So working inside of a museum, I kind of took that opportunity to go big on a wall using spray paint, like I would do in the public setting, but do more of a, a studio version of my work. makes it fun for you know being an artist in this setting and getting to walk around from room to room and see how Nosego makes what he does versus how Aaron makes what he does and just kind of like comparing and picking up little things and then watching the low bros two guys hitting one wall at the same time like that's that's so cool to be able to see and nobody else gets to come in and see that stuff they get to see the final product but it's really nice to be around as it's all being produced Your soul, just give me your sun, 
and show me your move One step closer and they will sigh Your future in the past Heads back on so we can choose Before they take you out In shallow truth and hate your days go by Experiments in lies We're all in line to step aside Do you stick to the plan? Let's take that people can see is vandalism, but when you look at an exhibition like this and what's actually achievable by, by a collection of artists who are very much tied into that culture and it's very likely that they have gained a lot of experience and a lot of skills from painting in places like abandoned buildings. So for me, it's sort of like representing that the, both spectrums of the culture. It's celebrating the, the beauty of the art and the, the end result of it, but also being aware of the very raw beginnings.
my police. You know, I feel I feel the art's important to, to at least speak up and use as a medium to, to create a discussion. And you know, street art itself is is kind of getting watered down. It's commodified. It's something that that's here to make money, to be entertainment. You know, I feel a responsibility to at least use this art to uh, you know bring up some of these these issues and, and raise awareness for you know some of these names of, of people who basically lost their life violently. Normally a bunch of ragtag graffiti artists don't get to show in a museum like that so it was a pretty rare opportunity and uh, definitely a huge honor and I think that because it was such a, a beautiful environment and um, such a game changer for a lot of us to uh, show our work in such a prestigious place a lot of the artists went overboard and worked harder than they normally would and definitely delivered work that was just stunning. Just like we paint outside, a lot of these artists painted ephemeral manner on the walls in the museum. So uh, it's not a painting that can stay, it's going to be buffed. And uh, a lot of us deal with that every day with the work we do. So magnificent. <laughs> When God created light, he made me in the flesh The caramel black man here to free all the rest Inhale, exhale, nigga, open your chest Put it to rest, I'm one of Los Angeles best Rearrange game, not same rap Push your brain back, I never left So how the f*** could I have came back? The sun burns holes in the souls of fakers I drinks cold, old gold, and I loves them Lakers My mind travels at the speed of concrete streets It's all real, feel different, then why must we speak? I strive to teach each outreach over rugged beats in the streets And it's just the beginning of me It's kind of uh, euphoric and orgasmic to walk from one room to the next And just see, you know, giant explosions of talent and creativity and the uh, vast contrast and differences between each artist is awesome to see. You know, a lot of us came from similar backgrounds, but how we express ourselves visually is, you know, just worlds apart. And that's really nice to see this group and community of artists come together to uh, push each other even further. <laughs> felt like family almost, the way they took care of all us artists and, and, and made sure the environment was good for painting. It was a really good experience.
doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look nice. It's a good buy.